And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone. You know, I know I'm not alone as an avid skier thinking about all the snow that's been piling up in the mountains and thinking when is my next chance to get up there and take advantage of that fresh powder? Well, here's what we have seen over the past five days and these reports came in earlier this morning. Several resorts have added to this throughout the day. Check out Loveland around 16 inches of snow, copper, a basin about a foot and a half, Vale, Winter Park, Beaver Creek, the big winner so far with nearly two feet of fresh, fluffy Colorado white snow. Lovely to see this time of the year and more is on the way with winter weather advisories in effect until 6 a.m. Thursday. So expect another couple of inches. Some spots could see as much as 6 to 12 inches of fresh new snow. The downside of the storm, especially tomorrow, is that it will be windy at times. So visibility might not be so good at driving out to the mountain area, especially in those higher mountain passes. You want to make sure you have both hands on the wheel, paying attention, not messing with the radio or touching that cell phone as we could see some dangerous driving conditions at times through early, I should say through early Thursday morning. For the plains, it'll be breezy to windy during the day tomorrow, especially by Thursday with those gusts around 35 to 45 miles per hour. As for the rest of us outside of the mountains, I think there is the possibility of some better chances for snow here in the plains as we make our way into early next week. Now today, as expected, a little bit cooler than yesterday. Highs down around 10 to 15 degrees across the board, topping out at 50 in the springs, 54 in Pueblo. As you look at the record low, I don't know about you. I'm just happy it's not 1972. That's what we saw a record low of minus 19 in Pueblo, minus 15 in the springs. Ouch. All I think about is the numbing You'd be feeling out there with temperatures that cold and the frostbite, how quickly it could set in. Right now in the springs, it is 34 degrees outside. Pueblo just a little cooler than that at 26. You can see on future cast tomorrow morning, we start to get a little more energy that tries to make it out of the mountain areas by around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I think we'll get our best chance of snow into the southeastern mountains. The high-res model wants to bring some of that moisture into the southeast plains, especially south of the Arkansas River Valley. So there may be a few scattered showers some rain, some snow, depending upon elevation between about 3 and 10 p.m. Don't think we'll see that here in the Pikes Peak region should generally stay south or east of us. Temperatures pretty similar to what we saw today with highs warming into the upper 40s. So finally, the upper level low beginning to get some forward movement. And as it starts to press east, we'll continue to see the snow, but the snow chances shrink as we head towards Thursday in the mountains. At the same time, the low brings in some stronger winds into the region. And this is the concern, folks, that we talked about at the top of the newscast. Lower humidity because of the downslope wing could trigger some red flag warnings. I think right now it'll be marginal, but something we'll be watching closely. However, the wind threat looks to be pretty big, up to 50 miles per hour for Teller County, 35 to 45 in the Pikes Peak region, and gust around 30 to 40 for our friends and viewers from Canyon City and Pueblo. Here's those overnight lows tonight. They'll be dropping down to the 20s, even some teens in some of the colder spots. Highs tomorrow pretty much on par with what we saw today, mid to upper 40s in the springs and monument low 50s for Canyon City and Pueblo. And we stay in the 40s through at least Saturday, breezy to windy most days through the start of the weekend. Still watching the potential for some snow early next week. Nothing that I'm too excited about this far out. Again, the stronger winds expected from early Thursday morning through about mid to late afternoon. And along with the winds, there will be an elevated fire with a risk. For Pueblo, we've got 50s over the next five days at least. Cooler with that pattern change early next week. Cool down, some gusty winds. That looks certain at this point. The potential for snow still not ridden in stone. Canyon City, dry, windy, breezy through next Sunday and then early next week. Got that chance for snow with cooling temperatures and for Woodland Park. A few flurries still possible through Wednesday afternoon, Rob, but a better chance for snow here as we make our way into next week.